Hey everybody, this is Aaron Murakami with a and Electronic Media at eMediaPress.com and today is Friday, September 4th and we're here in Spokane, Washington at the shop where we uh, assembled the uh, uh, Lukowski multi-wave oscillators which are available at vril.io V-R-I-L I-O and we have uh, uh, Eric Dollard here, he's been here actually since the conference and Right now we're working on a project where you see sitting to his left or the, the camera's right is a rack with uh, audio equipment in there that um, Eric engineered and um, I got all the parts for a couple of the units and we'll go into that uh, uh, later. Uh, most of that was built right here at the shop here. and But right now we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, uh, conference presentations that just came out and instead of uh, releasing these videos through the ClickBank uh, platform they're all directly available through eMediaPress.com and right now we have uh, only released uh, Eric's two presentations one is on Heaviside and one is on uh, uh, relating to uh, Fortescue and Eric can uh, uh, kind of give a description of those. These are presentations he's been wanting to do for, for many years and there was a, a musical element that went along with uh, each of them uh, with Bach and uh, the music of uh, Handel. And so, um, so which presentation do you want to talk about first? Oh, the heavy side. Okay, so the heavy side presentation, I think that was the second one, wasn't it? Oh no, that might have been the first, first one with the handle. First, yeah. So um, it's electromagnetic, electromagnetic induction and. Yeah, electromagnetic induction and its propagation. That was the title to Heaviside's original series of writings, which was banned after a certain point by a prominent bureaucrat and was never finished. So I used that title to kind of carry on the Heaviside concept of electromagnetism which uh, nobody really has ever seemed to have gotten an explanation of. Now there is an explanation of what Heaviside's theory of electromagnetism is and what its limitations are. And then its application through the work of Steinmetz into uh, the basic um, fundamentals of electrical engineering and Maxwell's equations. I don't think there's ever been a more simplified portrayal of Maxwell's equations than what you'll find in this. It's never been done before. All the useless baggage has been pulled away thanks to Heaviside. And the principle of Maxwell's equations used for transmission are reduced to basic algebraic expressions. That's a first. And to uh, simplify and make easier to understand all the Symmetz transmission equations, there's chapters on that. And that's been reduced to a, a very simplistic level by eliminating the resistance and conductance and getting right down to the electromagnetic process and then it leads into reflected waves and transmitted waves and impedance mismatches and then basically ends where Heaviside ended with that subject in his original electromagnetic induction and its propagation and the rest of that will have to be written later so basically this presentation is a book and the principal chapters have already been written they just need to be transcribed What other presentations have you given that are um, very closely related to this? Are there any that people should watch first before watching this one? Well, this or? is basically Lone Pine writings taken to the full level. So the Lone Pine book is kind of, uh, oh, how would you say, an abbreviated version of this, very abbreviated version. And then... Uh, but also a lot more simple for the beginner. Well, it's, it's, this is all mathematics, so you can't mm -hmm. expect, you know, to be a practical electrician out of any of this. That's, yeah. that's the problem, even though in this particular presentation I focused on actual real power lines that exist that are actually out there working. Mostly LA Department of Water and Power or Southern California Edison are the two lines that have been chosen. And uh, the relationships between energy and force uh, have never been dealt like with this ever. I'm the first one to have fully shown how power, energy, and force relate in power transmission systems and the actual forces on the conductor. That cannot be found in any engineering book ever written, or at least that I've found, digging an awful lot. But fortunately, Steinmetz gave a paper that has the key elements to be able to do this, 
which kind of disappeared underneath the carpet, but uh, somebody had dug it out for me and it was filled with severe typo errors and <clears throat> un un uh, how would you say, un uh, unnecessary criticisms of his work and so I have to sweat blood to get all the typo errors and dimensional inconsistencies all untangled to turn it into something that worked. So I presented the results of that effort in actual transmission line problems and how energy is really a fictitious element, it's power or the induction that are involved in energy is a side effect that is best kept out of the transmission system, otherwise it exerts forces on conductors. So Lone Pine Writings was originally available as a um, uh, in digital uh, format as a PDF ebook, um, but that was put into a paperback which is available on Amazon. So if you want a copy of that book, you can go to Amazon.com. Uh, the actual title and subtitle were switched around, so the, the title in Amazon is A Common Language for Electrical Engineering, and the subtitle is Lone Pine Writings. And that started as a collection of papers on energeticforum.com, and then uh, those were compiled into an ebook and then eventually became a paperback. Um, and then there's also Lone Pine Writings Part 2, which I think at this time is only available as a uh, downloadable PDF. Uh, you can go to Verser, uh, not Verser Algebra, but LonePineWritings.com, and I believe these might be available on eMediaPress.com directly. You can go to eMediaPress.com, and you can search the new catalog that's being built right now. Um, it might be maybe another uh, week or two before 100% of all the books and videos are available through there uh, that you can search for. Um, Anything else you want to say about the maybe the, the musical element to it and what was done well, with... Well, uh, Handel wrote a piece of music that is like the most, uh, how would you say... What he was most well known most for? Of, or? Well, no, most of, uh, it's very analogous to the Heaviside Telegraph Equation, which everything in this presentation is built on, because that is the foundation of electrical transmission engineering, is the Heaviside Equation. Without that, nothing could have made progress. So Handel wrote a, uh, a concluding piece of music to his Alexander's Feast, or The Power of Music. And uh, it's interesting that he chose the word power. And uh, the finale of that piece of music is a four-quadrant type of uh, structure, exactly like the Heaviside Equation. So I played that in the end with enough introduction to the theme so that by the time you got into the music, you could follow all four phases of the music. Okay, and then the other presentation you did is um, based on the wor work of Fortescue. Um, what is the main title, Multiple Coordinate? Oh, that is... Uh, that one evades me. That one... Uh, the, the method of symmetrical coordinate systems as applied to unbalanced polyphase systems. Something close to that. And this was based on a paper, a collection of papers by Fortescue, or like early in the 1900s. And yeah, like around 1913 or whatever. And it it gave uh, electrical transmission engineers what has always been missing is a way to analyze the components of polyphase power systems. And he's the one that figured out how to do it. And then it's directly applicable applicable to the Steinmetz root of the unit concept, which was never fully developed. So, and any textbook on the Fortescue method is, uh, is very poorly put together. It's not really the theoretical basis. has never been presented. Fortescue's paper is almost unlegible unless you're some kind of PhD mathematician. And it took the work of uh, Wagner and Evans, and then they wrote the standard textbook on the subject. But it has all kinds of little complications in it that have to be weeded out. There is no justification for the theory to begin with in the introductory chapters and the, the method of presentation was extremely difficult because it used all the same letter with uh, dozens of subscripts and it was it's a very difficult subject to begin with and, and to portray it in such a form that you can't really see what's going on made it hopeless so I untangled all that and set all the phases straight to clockwise rotation like Steinmetz said turned it into the Steinmetz root of the unit and then gave a 
entire presentation of the theory and application of the Fortescue method to polyphase power analysis. Then I took it on the Fortescue system also is a Pythagorean numerological system, so I showed how there was a correspondence between the Fortescue methodology and Pythagorean numerology using various elements that Pythagoras had developed called the lambdoma and number series and what have you, and then I carried it further into the origin of the musical scales and then the polyphase power concept is portrayed as a four-phase piece of music in the Tesla mode at the end written by Johann Sebastian Bach. Anything else you want to mention about that presentation? That's or the... pretty much it. So these presentations are currently available. They were just released a couple days ago on eMediaPress.com. And if you go to eMediaPress.com, you should see them um, close to the top of the home page. And if not, you can just uh, search for uh, Eric Dollard and you'll see the presentations. The, um, you can get either one uh, at whatever price they're sold for on the website, or you can get a combination of both the videos um, at a discount. And um, over the next uh, few weeks, uh, the goal is to get all the 2020 Energy Science and Technology Conference presentations released by the end of September. And people are already pre-registering for the 2021 conference, and um, which I think is going to be pretty exciting because we're putting together some equipment that if we get all this done in time, there's going to be some demonstrations unlike anybody has ever seen. Uh, when it comes to uh, doing some of this uh, Tesla technology the way Eric Dollard um, understands how to do it. And so if you want to pre-register, you can go to energysciencesconference.com and you can find the registration link there. And um, once you register, it might say 2020. I haven't had time to change the, the reference to 2021, but um, all the registrations will be for 2021. If you already registered or you came to the conference, you do not have to re-register because all the registrations are just going to carry forward till uh, to next year. Um, also, uh, Eric Dollard's organization is EPD Laboratories Inc. Um, the website for Eric is ericpdollard.com, and this is where you can find a lot of blog posts. Where there's uh, uh, there's also a free videos and a free papers uh, link. Uh, in the main menu bar, um, uh, you can see some of the old uh, Borderland videos and, the, and links to different interviews. Also, if you go to youtube.com forward slash Aaron Murakami, and if you search my web uh, YouTube channel, um, there's uh, dozens and dozens of interviews and recorded live calls with Eric Dollard on there. And so, uh, uh, EPD Laboratories Inc. is a 501c3 nonprofit charitable corporation. All donations are tax deductible, and we could use uh, your help with uh, whatever donations you're able to uh, uh, help support the cause with. Uh, goes to paying the bills, um, some of Eric's travel expenses to help work on some of these projects. Um, and at ericpdollar.com in the right column, or on the uh, donations link uh, in the main menu bar, you can uh, find the address where you can uh, send checks and money orders to. Uh, here in Spokane, and then I'll uh, forward them down to the uh, bank down in uh, Nevada. Or if you can donate by PayPal, there's a PayPal uh, donate link. All donations, big or small, are appreciated as uh, the organization is solely run by donations. Uh, but also a portion of the proceeds from the video sales also go, goes to uh, EPD Labs. So, um, And if you have any questions for Eric, uh, it's best to write him directly. Uh, at a P.O. box in uh, Nevada, which that new address is posted in the right column of ericpdollar.com.